silent crime never ends with a victim. The pain reverberates months and years later. For years, there was no justice, but I don't need to worry anymore. It has been 16,417 days since Joseph D'Angelo began his reign of terror. I had a murder habit, and it was bad. We wanted to be heard. My life would never be the same again. D'Angelo told me he would kill me if I didn't do what he demanded. The survivors have spoken clearly. The defendant deserves no mercy. I handled my first crime scene evidence when I was 14. But it wasn't until recently that I really looked into what happened. The story of the victims has to be told. Michelle was trying to get more information about my past. I was half a block from my house, and out of the corner of this eye, I saw a knife. I found a pattern of similar crimes. The crime scene was trampled. The materials were poorly handled. And then, four months after my sister was murdered, they said, we're stopping our investigation. Is it worth it to relive it and pursue something that you might never win? Sometimes it takes a little heat from a writer, and I'm happy to be that person. But inside everyone lurks a Sherlock Holmes. Given the right clues, they could solve a mystery.